Hello and welcome to The Morning After from Engadget. I'm Matt Smith, each week taking you through the biggest, most interesting tech stories that I can find. This week that includes spacesuits you can pee in, the biggest, most interesting Pixel 9 leaks, and the unofficial return of the iPod. Yes, I said iPod. Let's go. A new space suit designed by scientists at Whale, Cornell Medicine and Cornell University is heavily inspired by Dune and could make spacewalks longer and less disgusting by recycling expelled urine in a special filtration backpack. The traditional NASA spacesuit design has been in circulation since the 1970s. And to tackle what I like to call the urine problem, it used an innovation called absorbent polymers. Sponge, I think that means sponge. Yeah, this system leads to hygiene and medical issues like urinary tract infections and even gastrointestinal problems. The design is not just sci-fi whimsy, although there is a hell of a lot in here. Now these still suits have a vacuum-based external catheter and were designed for future NASA space missions, including missions headed to the moon. However, NASA hasn't adopted this spacesuit or its technology just yet, but at least it's designed by scientists. There's science behind this. Sure. I hope so. For those of you that miss the iPod and have a little bit of money to burn, how about the tiny pod? This is a $80 case that you can cram your Apple Watch into and it pretty much behaves almost like an iPod. Uh, in some way at least, yeah. The tiny pod is a case for your Apple Watch which probably doesn't sound particularly exciting. However, it does have a click wheel and this click wheel is able to control the watch's digital crown making Apple's wearable Look a little bit like an iPod, back from the dead. It's the creation of Newar, a former Snap designer and a one-time jailbreak guru. The TinyPod website pitches it as a distraction-free phone and it says it can support multi-day battery life by turning off the watch's wrist detection, which obviously you don't need here. But given how short the battery life normally is on cellular Apple watches, that could be a bit of a challenge. It's available to pre-order now, and what I think is particularly cool is the attention to detail in the advertising. The teaser ads have an iPod era Apple font, and they even have framed it in old TV four to three ratio. Kind of like this. Now, thanks to multiple leaks and Pixel phones I love to leak, we know pretty much exactly how Google's next gen Pixel 9 series will look. That includes a new foldable. Yes, thanks to Taiwan's version of the FCC. Android authorities spotted the photos at Taiwan's National Communications Commission for four, yes, four new Pixel phones, including the Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, Pixel 9 Pro XL, and a Pixel 9 Pro Fold. For the foldable, Google has moved the selfie camera to the inside screen for a wider field of view. And this next gen fold seems to have thinner bezels and a seemingly reduced fold crease, but then, we say that every time there's a new foldable. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Pixel 9 series is getting one hell of a chunky camera module, but that probably means the phones will crush it when it comes to imaging. And to be honest, they usually do. We expect to hear all about all of those phones officially next month. Shocking news, Apple has just killed its black HomePod mini and replaced it with a black HomePod mini? The only major difference is that the fabric on that HomePod mini is now 100% recycled. If you're hoping for new HomePod mini colors, don't. They are pretty much the same color. And rejoice because Prime Day is done. I hope there is no buyer's remorse. Me, I bought the most boring Costco visit slash buy in bulk misery. Detergent pods and not to be a British cliche, but a huge multi-pack of baked beans. Yeah, 47% off. Putting that aside, thanks once again to you for watching this week's edition of The Morning After. You can read the full stories of everything we covered this week over at Engadget.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you once again next week.